Hello and welcome to this video in the lockdown learning series where we're going to take a look at using Sonic Couture's Mooncits samples. So these are some nice drum samples. They're pretty useful drum loops. They're free and high quality, so why wouldn't we look at them? There is a bit of a gotcha, which I'm mostly making this video to make you aware of it, actually, so you don't get caught up by it. So we're going to look at importing them. So in fact, they are here on my Mac. We'll just unzip them. So say so right click and extract all if you're on Windows. And we can see there we've got all these loops. Now, I'm going to look at importing them in a couple of ways. So first things first, if you just want to in straight import them, you'd go to File, Import Audio File. We've been through this before. Downloads, and then let's just import. Let's import Flutter Funk. Okay, so by default, this this is what I wanted to show you. Really, is by default the sample rate conversion will be turned off. Okay, and I'm going to import this like this. You should always have copy file to project folder. If I, if you've listened to nothing else that I've said over the last four thousand and sixty seven videos I've made while I've been sat in my room unable to work, um, that's a joke. Uh, then if if this is the only thing you learn from all of these, then that's it's been worthwhile, as they say. So copy file to project folder, make sure that's ticked, but we're going to click OK. Now, as we import it, you will see that it has the tempo written on it. It says it's at 110 beats per minute, okay? Cubase has not done anything Ableton or Vegas-like and made it actually fit, so it's not automatically done what we want and you think well that's that's pretty annoying i'm i'm unhappy about this so i could do sizing applies time stretch but what we want to do is tell cubase that this is at 110 bpm and then say right make that musical and fix it so we go to the pool which is either under media and open pool window or control or command p which is normally print in any sane application but there we go and if we open up the audio section you can see here Cubix has realized that the tempo is 110 it just hasn't made use of that information and you make use of that information with the musical tick box here so we're going to tick that tick box and close this and now it should fit to Cubase's tempo but you the eagle-eyed amongst you will have realized that that has not happened in fact I'm gonna make you suffer it so here you can see we've got a loop set around this it's more than two bars long I'm going to turn the click on and play it and then we can see what's gone wrong. Yeah. I mean, I'm no drummer, but I don't think that's in time. And the problem comes from because we imported it and we didn't change the sample rate. Okay. It's as, it's as simple as that. Now, trying to fix this from here would be a bit of a pain. Yes, we could time stretch it, etc. But I want to show you how to do it right. So just going to delete this here. But importantly, I then need to go to the pool and erase any you know, option of it's ever having existed. So we click on it here. I'm going to hit the delete key and then I'm going to remove it from the pool. So now Cubase will not know about this file. Okay, it's gone. Now I'm going to re-import it. So I'm going to go to file, import, audio file, and then I'm going to Make sure I re-import the same thing. So yeah, Flutterfunk 110. Click open. This time I'm going to tick sample rate conversion. And yeah, it's still wrong, but that's because we haven't said use the tempo. But you can see back in the pull window, control or command P. Gonna tick musical, close that, and now it works. Okay, so if you ever need to convert a sample's rate, do so. On the import because then Cubase will work out the tempo for whatever reason it doesn't do the extra maths needed to convert the tempo when it doesn't convert the sample rate if you get what I mean so in an ideal world it would deal with both but it doesn't so if you do that then then this will work and now we have amazingly I mean admittedly it sounds a lot better at the original tempo but there you go, okay? Now, this works exactly the same in Media Bay. So even if you set it up in Media Bay, which I'm going to show you how to do in a second, then 
it would still screw it up if you don't do that sample rate conversion. So the the, the import side of things and the tempo measurement, etc., is all the same. But in Media Bay, if we go to Media Bay here, you can set up a particular folder that you want to look at. So for instance, here I've set it to look at the music folders. So we're going to look at this in a little more detail. But if you've done that in in there, once you import it, it would make exactly the same mistake if you don't do the sample rate conversion. No matter how it comes in, make sure you do the sample rate conversion on the import and then its attempt to work out the tempo will go much better. And it's got much better over the years. It used to be absolutely disastrous. Now it's 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 better at it, although it doesn't always get it right, but it's easily corrected because if you know what the tempo is, you can just type it in in the pool window. So that's a little trip with moon kits, but they're, they're mostly loops. Hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.